Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be going over with you how to create digital products. These are products that you sell in digital format. They are, they may include, but are not limited to PDF files, videos, music, ebooks, that sort of thing. Something that someone would download. Now in this tutorial, I'll also be going through what a customer will see when they purchase one of these products. So one, some of the setup that I did ahead of time was to add a category because that is necessary for the products to build into. I also added a test payment method, so checkout would be simple. Now this will be a pretty brief description. It's going to focus mainly on the digital portion of it, not building products in general. So first we're going to click on products there on the left-hand side. We're then going to select add product up at the top right. I'm going to go very general here. PDF file is the name of what I am selling here. I'm going to say it's five bucks. I'm going to add it to the category that I built. When you scroll down a little bit lower, you'll see advanced settings. Select advanced settings. We're going to select tangible as something that you can hold that you would ship. So we're going to select digital instead. We're going to choose the file that we want to use. Now normally you would want to enter in a description, product images, that sort of thing. I'm making this short and brief. So the product is built and in place and ready for purchase. A really simple way to look at your site is the eyeball up here in the top right. If I click on this, it will bring up my web page. I go to the main category, name it the product I just built, I'm going to add to cart, and then proceed to checkout. It's going to ask for billing information for the processing of the payment. Now, the email address is important on these particular orders because a link is sent to the customer on where to download from. This is the test payment I've built. Normally, credit card payments would require more information. I'm just added this in so that the order can be placed. All right, so the order is in. The way that the customer then receives the link to download the file, you have to go to your orders. Pull up the order in question. And the quickest way to process an order, if there aren't stages of it in, in handling, I click on Fulfill. That will change both the order status and the payment status at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and save. At this point, it then sent an email to me. Order completed. With the link to the download file. As I click on that, it will give me the file. Now, the customer will have 10 downloads. What that link is functional for, once they've downloaded the product 10 times, that link will no longer work correctly. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at support. 